Hi friends, welcome to our channel. So in this video, we are going to discuss about what is static import in Java. In our previous video, we have discussed what is static variable and static method, how to call static variable and static methods. So in case if you haven't watched those videos, the link is available in the description. So please watch that videos. So now let us get into this uh, static import in Java. So usually we know that if I want to import any class from other package, I will be going for the normal import. Import, let me import util package scanner class. So this is a way of importing a class from other package. So this one we are already familiar. This is our normal import. We have one more import statement in Java, nothing but static import. So we are using the static import for static property import. If I want to import any static property from other class package, other class or other package. So then I will be going for the static import. Let us say what is a, let's see one small example. What is the requirement of the static import? So let me declare one static variable. Now you can see in my class I have a static variable A. If I want to access the static variable, I can call by using class name or I can call by using the variable name itself also I can call by using the reference so which we have already discussed in our previous video itself so finally here you can see let us concentrate on this particular line you can look at uh, this line I am invoking a static variable a by using that variable name itself so which means I can call the static property by using the property name itself. Let us try to import one static property from other package. Let it be math class dot by. You can look at this uh, variable by. It's a static constant. That's why since it's a static property, I can call by using the class name. Since it's a static property, I can call by using class name. Let us try to invoke this static property by, by using the variable name itself. It's giving the error. Let us read the error message. It is saying that by cannot be a result to a variable. It is not able to recognize this variable. But in case of variable A, it is able to recognize because it is declared in the same class. But pi is the static variable, even though it's a static variable, but it is declared in another package or another class. So that's why the moment I try to use a static variable name by default it is looking into the current class but in the current class there is no static variable in the name of pi. So that's why it is giving the error. So now I have to tell to my compiler so pi is a static variable from java.lang.math class. So now the static import will come to the picture. So now you can look at the import statement, how I am importing my static property. So here I am going to say, I am going to import, but at the same time, I am not going to import a class, I am going to import a static property. 
that's why i will come with a static keyword and i will say that i'm going to import a static property from lang dot math class and either i can say star to import all the static property from math class or i may import only five so this is nothing but static import now you can look at my code the moment i made static import i'm able to call by using the variable name itself even though it is from other package so what's happening here first it will look for the uh, the moment, whenever i try to use any static uh, property by using the variable or the property name itself so at first it will look for the current class if there is no property in the current class then i have to specify the location and the class name i mean location in the sense package name and the class name so that the compiler will understand okay pi is a static property from this particular package and this particular class so this is the usage of static import the same way you can we are already familiar we have a integer dot posit to convert a string to integer you can look at my integer dot parsing method parsint is a static method from integer class that's why i can call by using class name so now what i want to do i want to call by using the property name itself right but already we are familiar in that case i have to make a static import i will say i'm going to import a import a static property from java dot lang dot the class name is integer and either i can say dot star or i'm going to import a particular method now you can see the error is gone the same way you can look at our system dot out you can look at the system dot out out is a static property out is a static property out may be a object of print stream class but actually as per the system class it's a static property yes they have created a uh, out object oh, sorry they have created a uh, print stream object out inside system class as a static property so finally as per the system class out is the static property that's why i am able to call by using class name so let us say i don't want to class i don't want to call by using class name i just want to call by using the property name because it's a static property so in that case what we have to do again we have to go for static import import static java dot lang dot system dot out so this is the usage of static import you can look at the compare the different between uh, normal import and static import normal import is importing a class from the package but the static import what it is doing it is importing a static property from the class so this is the main difference between the normal import and the static import so hope friends we are clear about what is static import and how to use static import in java thanks friends for watching this video so if you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell icon so that as soon as i upload the new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends